What's up guys, today we're gonna to show you how to install our brand new intercooler for the 2024 Plus Mustang EcoBoost. So, let's get into it. Okay, so when you order our intercooler kit, it's gonna come with the intercooler itself. It's gonna come with this plastic air duct right here, four rubber mounts, two pop clips, some M6 hardware, M5 hardware, and these two red brackets right here. So for this install, pretty typical as far as like bumper removal goes, uh, nothing too crazy here. Um, so we're gonna start our video with uh, specifics as far as our product install goes. Uh, if you do need any specifics as far as bumper removal goes, uh, you can reference the factory Ford service manual. Uh, that'll give you the information you need. But uh, for now, we're just gonna get started on taking this apart. Okay, so we have the stock intercooler out of the vehicle here. Um, first step for the Mishimoto intercooler install is we're going to remove the factory map sensor out of the intercooler and swap it over to the Mishi intercooler. So we have a T30 torque screw here. We will not need this. Pull this sensor out, swap it over to the Mishi intercooler, and then we provide a machine screw with the kit for fastening this to the Mishi intercooler. Okay, so this is gonna be a 3.5 millimeter hex. Snug that guy up. And then there is a MPT sensor port right here if you wish to add a auxiliary pressure sensor. Uh, we just wanna make sure this is tight. Okay, so we flip the intercooler over and the next step is we're gonna install these rubber mounts on the bottom of the end tanks. Um, these are just gonna be Thread it in with the stud side towards the intercooler and just snug them up hand tight. There's no way to really get a wrench on there to tighten them, but they'll be retained once the screw is fastened in there. It's on the vehicle. Same on the other side. Okay, so next step, we're gonna install these red brackets here inside this uh, cross member here. It'll be a little bit tricky, but uh, just stick with me here. So the text facing up in front, obviously towards the front, we're gonna kind of stick this in diagonally like that. And then if you stick your finger in through the hole on the bottom, kind of push once it's in there, hold it up like that against the top surface or the bottom surface of the top side. And then take one of these tree clips that's provided with the kit and push that in there. It wasn't too bad. And we're just gonna do the same thing for the other side. All right, so we're ready to drop the intercooler in the vehicle right now. So we're just gonna come in at an angle like this and get the uh, rubber mounts over these bottom plates here. And then I'm gonna kind of rotate and push up on the condenser to get it in position roughly like that. So next step here is we need to slide the intercooler back into position so we can get the mounting bolts lined up with these mounts. So to do that, we're just gonna pry up on the radiator. Uh, I should mention we do have the upper radiator mounts removed, which allows us to lift the radiator a little bit. Uh, and then you can just lift this pipe up here and push it back into position. And we're just gonna repeat the same thing for the other side now. Okay, so same thing on this side. We just pop this pipe kind of over the quick connect like that. And then pry up on the radiator. Slide the intercooler back, just like that. So we're just gonna push this quick connect fitting onto the intercooler while we're here. Make sure the uh, lock ring is like fully seated in the groove, which it looks like it is. All right, so we're gonna push this quick connect on here. 
Uh, you might need to grab it from the top side and kind of wiggle it to get the clips to go in. There you go. Okay, so now that we have the intercooler in position, uh, we're gonna use the uh, M6 hardware that comes with the kit. So you're gonna put a, a lock washer on first and then a flat washer. And then this is gonna be a four millimeter hex. And we're gonna use these to uh, go through the red bracket that we installed previously and into the bottom of the rubber mounts. Okay, so you can see on the bottom side of this frame rail through this hole, the red bracket that we installed previously. And through the hole in the red bracket, you're gonna to want to align the threads for the mounts that we installed into the intercooler. And you can see they're properly aligned right now, but if they're not, you can reposition the intercooler and also move the red bracket. It's gonna pivot on that clip that we installed previously. So just make sure that's aligned properly. And then we can go ahead and install hardware. Just, I would install that loosely for now until we get both of them in. Yeah, this side here, same thing. Now we can snug this side up. Okay, so we're just gonna do the same thing for the other side here. Um, you can kind of see the threads for the mounts aren't quite lined up with the hole in the bracket. So we can just uh, kind of pull the intercooler to the radiator to get those lined up better. Get this screw started in there. Okay, so next step, we're gonna install this uh, air duct to the bottom of the intercooler. So proper orientation of this is gonna be the longer side tab is facing up and towards the rear, like that. And just line it up with the holes in the bottom of the intercooler. And then with the kit, there are six M5 screws, lock nuts, and washers provided to fasten this to the intercooler. Just gonna put these in loosely until we get them all in. This, by the way, is a 2.5 millimeter Allen for these screws. So now we can just snug these up, not too tight because they are clamping directly against the plastic. A good way to uh, limit the amount of torque you put on these is to just use this little wrench here so you can't over torque them. All right. Okay, so last step then is just gonna be make sure to reconnect this plug here for the uh, boost pressure sensor, and that's it then. Okay, so we finished up the reassembly for the intercooler install. Um, if you need any specifics regarding reassembly, you can consult the OEM service manual from Ford. But other than that, that's gonna wrap up the intercooler install on this 2024 Mustang EcoBoost. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. But if you wanna purchase this intercooler for yourself, you can hit the first thing down below in the description. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you all on the next one.